Andy Reid is one of the most creative minds in the game of football. What makes him so creative is he's able to continually build off the concepts and looks that he creates. He's got a lot of different ways that he's able to attack defenses with all different kinds of skill players, and he's always finding unique looks to build off of the previous look. Last season, Andy Reid found a condensed formation that he really likes and used it in all areas of the field. Andy Reid brought this formation back this year. He added a new spin that we hadn't seen yet. Let's take a look at what he did in week one against the Chargers. Mahomes, flip it. Tyreek Hill waltzes in for the touchdown. Into the bag of tricks. It's the fourth quarter and the Chiefs are lined up on the one yard line in that condensed formation. The only difference is that Kareem Hunt was lined up wide to start the play. Patrick Mahomes indicated in his post-game press conference that they had a good man zone ID on these shovel pass looks. You look here, Casey Hayward is waving his arms trying to get a linebacker to come out and cover Kareem Hunt. That indicates that the Chargers are in some kind of man coverage look. If they were in zone, Casey Hayward would have actually bounced out and covered Hunt. But instead, he's trying to get someone to bounce outside with him. Hayward starts widening a little bit towards Hunt just in case. But before he can get a linebacker out there, Hunt motions back into the formation. And this is the look that you're going to get at the snap of the ball. I think I have an idea of what the coverage was for the Chargers. Casey Hayward and the safety are actually running a banjo coverage, uh, banjo call look. It's a man coverage look. Casey Hayward will take the outside receiver after the routes are distributed. So if Sammy Watkins comes inside, Tyreek Hill bounces outside, Hayward's gonna go with Hill. Uh, the, and then the safety's working the inside thread of this. So basically they're sorting it out together to determine who, what receiver they're gonna take Teams use this look when they're expecting crossing receivers or rub routes, just allowing them to kind of sort through the two receiver look there. Uh, the linebackers here are actually dual reading Kareem Hunt. They're reading what direction Kareem Hunt will go. If it's a pass play, if, uh, if Kareem Hunt say ran a swing here, this linebacker is going to go with them. And uh, if he crosses base and ran into the flats, this linebacker would be chasing him. Mahomes. Kareem Hunt's gonna run a play fake across the face of Patrick Mahomes. Tyreek Hill's gonna come across and actually accept a shovel pass. The offensive line's down blocking. Well, watch what's happening with the defense at the snap of the ball. Melvin Ingram's actually coming around from the safe around the safety and coming inside. The flow of the linebackers is actually heading towards Hunt as well. A split second later, we're at the mesh point of the play. Both Tyreek Hill and Kareem Hunt are about to cross each other. It creates a lot of confusion in the middle of the field. And you saw the pursuit of the linebackers a second ago. Everyone is lined up outside of Travis Kelsey at this point. The play is designed to create misdirection and it has done just that. Flip it. Tyreek Hill! Waltz is in for the touchdown. Into the bag of tricks. One of the subtleties of this play that makes the misdirection so impressive, the ball handling by quarterback Patrick Mahomes. Kareem Hunt is going to cross his face with a high ball fake. He's showing high arms to give the illusion of the action. Patrick Mahomes is gonna slip the ball to Tyreek Hill Rue Hunt underneath his arms for a touchdown pass. It wasn't a 69 yard touchdown pass, but it still took a lot of timing and execution to make it work properly. Andy Reid's been known to be able to build off these looks. This is just the start. There's definitely more pieces to this play to come and I can't wait to see what he has cooked up.